got fired for turning tin cans into gold. Okay, here's the shitty part about what you volunteered for. I got fired for showing others how it's done. Everybody's saying there was a Major League Three. <laughs> that fucking thing was Major League Three? Anybody in here see it? Yeah, I didn't either. Wow. I mean, I like Scott Bakula and all, but... Dude. I got fired for giving the people what they want. Fire that is burning across the globe. And, and, and... How do you feel about going on tour. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm going on tour. And they were like, cool, then you're going on tour. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> they said, well, you go on tour, you go across, you know, all the different cities and you'll meet the fans and the people and you'll interact and you tell your stories and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll wind up in bitching places like fucking Dallas, man. <laughs> and you get a chance to get out there and tell your story. So, I'm getting there, I swear to God, I'm getting there. I got fired because I told my boss to fuck off. How did you become a goddess? Well, I, um, I fell in love with Charlie and I, uh, unlike someone else, I never left. Unlike somebody else, she never left. How about that? How about that? Somebody else couldn't fucking handle it. Well, congrats on being the last uh, last goddess standing. <laughs> Lastly, um, any advice or tips for any potential future goddesses? Well, all I can say is uh, good luck, ladies, because you'll fucking need it. <laughs> How about that? Wow, a challenge has been issued. Thank you very much. Somebody said you're the Eminem of actors because you don't care what anybody thinks. You both told the media to shove it. He made songs about killing his ex-wife. You made jokes about killing your exes. Do you relate to Eminem? Well, of course I relate to him. He's a fucking genius. Genius. He's, he's a genius, yeah. Sounds like you guys agree with that. Do you... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. But, um, we asked him to join us in Detroit. And, and, and he wouldn't, uh, because he'd recently joined AA. Ah. Uh. So, another one bites the dust in AA. Oh well. And look at this turnout. The last time many drug addicts filled an arena was the Superdome, uh, Hurricane Katrina. Poor oh, Charlie, right now your career is so shot to hell, you should change your name to Selena. And Charlie was actually pissed when we got to Texas because he thought this was called the Porn Star State. I'm telling you, Charlie, this is hard because I'm used to roasting classier people like Flavor Fav and Courtney Love. After I roasted Courtney Love, the next day she checked herself into rehab. So roasting saves lives. But seriously, it's an honor to be here tonight on What the Fuck Were You Thinking Tour? Jolly, I thought I had balls, but you got bigger balls than me. Coming on stage night after night without a fucking act. <laughs> you say you're a warlock from Mars, you might be, but I'll tell you what you're not, a comedian from Earth. <laughs> Two and a half men is also the amount of people left in the audience after the Detroit show. <laughs> Let's face it, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen is standing up to stand up to what Larry Flint is to standing up. And you 
motto is, defeat is not an option. How about a refund? Is that a fucking option? Tonight? Absolutely. Even Bernie Madoff wanted his money back after he sold one of your shows. Ouch. Charlie, if you're winning, then there's something wrong with the scoreboard. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, how are you? I'm doing great. What do you do, Stephanie? Um, I do bikini promotions for a living. Did you did you bring a bikini? Not I normally carry one with me, but no, I don't have one. <laughs> Somebody want my shirt? sisters. And by now your liver must be smaller and blacker than Barry Bonds' nutsack. Wow. Because they don't know who we are. They don't care about us. They fired your favorite fucking guy. They took my job. They took my cash. They took my children. They tried to take, they tried to take everything from me. I'm gonna get it back. With your help and your support, I'm gonna get it all fucking back. And I'll tell you what else they cannot take. They cannot take a night like tonight, where we're all absolutely fucking winning. I got fired because because emotions, because ego, those things got in the way. They got in the way of giving the people what they want. What do you guys fucking want? You guys want fucking two and a half men back? 